Hey, this is Thomas Houston from The Verge, and we're checking out the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Specifically here, we're checking out the, uh, the new Windows Store. It's the first tile you loaded up, and it's, it's pretty similar to most stores. You're seeing you know, the top paid, top free, uh, and a list of new releases. Um, seems to be pretty fast, very responsive, um, and you've got, you know, things, you've got Cut the Rope, you've got um, selections from USA Today, uh, the usual finance, Vimeo, uh, the Telegraph, and there's a lot of apps here. So we're going to hop in, check out the top free apps, um, and we don't have maps installed yet, so let's check that out. Um, you'll find a full overview, a um, couple screenshots here, much like most other app stores. Um, basic description, uh, full details, and then user reviews, and we've got one already. Um, and then over here on the left you have um, you know, where it works, the basic requirements, and uh, user ratings. Um, and so to install, all you do is tap install, and it immediately starts. Uh, first time you try to install something when you're logged in, it's going to ask you for a password. Otherwise, it'll start downloading. And as soon as it's downloaded, um, you get a notification, and you can just pull it up here. And here's New York. Um, and then you'll also find that uh, you'll have a tile installed um, on your start screen. Um, so early we, earlier, we in installed Vimeo, and it added it here. And with Maps, it's right here. Additionally, updates are built in. Uh, so if you go to the App Store and click in the top right, you'll see all the updates that are available. Um, and fortunately, you don't have to go in and select each one. You can just click Install, and it goes and installs all three apps, or the updates for all three apps. So the Windows Store is broken down by categories. Up at the top, in, in the first view, you'll see All Stars, Top Paid, Top Free across all categories. But then as you move to the right, you'll see different categories broken out. So games, social, entertainment, and, and quite a few others. And some of them, you can dig down and look at Top Paid, Top Free. Uh, but for things like social, where it seems there, there aren't too many, um, there's only a couple apps. And so you don't have full breakouts yet. Um, but we expect as um, you know, more apps are available on the store, um, you're going to see these additional breakouts. Uh, but yeah, so you see books and reference, news and weather, food and dining, shopping, travel, finance, productivity, and on and on. Um, and then clicking any of the icons on the individual page takes you directly to that app, and you can install there. Although it's not obvious at first, search is integrated into the App Store. It's not here, and you and you won't see it on this um, uh, on the primary panes. But what you, what you can do is swipe in from the right, and you'll find the search button. Um, and so, if you want to go and download Evernote, uh, you can type it in, and recommendations will start to show up here live. Uh, as soon as you hit search, they'll show up over here on the left. Um, and if you, have a lot, if you have a lot of results, you can go in and search by, sort by relevance, sort by price, and sort by category. It's also worth noting uh, that with Windows Store, whenever you download anything, um, these apps are going to be available across all of your Windows 8 devices. So if you install this on a tablet here, and then um, you know, install Windows 8 on your, on your desktop machine, um, you know, you'll be able to find Evernote synced up on both of those devices, or Vimeo, and all of your other apps. Um, so it's consistent across the entire, uh, your entire Windows 8 ecosystem. This is the Windows Store, and it's available now for anyone that's downloaded the Windows 8 Consumer Build, uh, so go check it out.